Hello and welcome to part 3. In this part I will explain how to actually import the model to the game engine. So uh, before before we start I have to tell you that I will actually use two kinds of conversion just in case. So I'm just gonna rename this to black. Most of you probably know why. Uh, oh. Okay, so it's the same model. Okay, let's open up Autodesk 3ds Max. And while that opens, I will open the Blair file and tell you that one one version of conversion, the model actually flips the model across red axis. So I'm just gonna select everything with Control A and go to flip along right direction. Yeah, now it's like that. I'm gonna save it, close it, maybe later. And there we go. I'm gonna need this. This is fine. This is actually from the STO exporter that replies this message, which I'm not sure why, but it still works so it doesn't matter the reason why I'm doing this in two different methods is because just using the exporter may result in some errors while the other kind of con conversion that I will show you in the video does not so I mean to some of you maybe it would be better to use the plugin for 3ds max but I don't know okay now we're still waiting for 3ds to open I hate it that it takes so long because it's ah well it's the first time running it ever since I powered on my PC so no wonder ah there it goes so we start off by creating new empty scene and just click on import desktop, tutorial, model, okay, just uncheck everything and input it as is, oh, okay, now the only problem is that after importing the SketchUp model, the scale is uh, kind of, it's very wrong, for example, I'll just use the box, and okay, so the box size is 2, 2, Two meters and as you can see just put it here this little box right here is two meters and this is not two meters definitely so what we need to do first I'm going to select this little box and delete it oh, I only need this model I have all actually made the perfect side left the perfect scale of the model and for that you need to go to the scale option click this box and first we scaled it down to 5 and then we scale it to 60 yeah then it becomes really really tiny but doesn't matter because that's exactly what we need it to be I'm just gonna drag it on on the center again. This is my better to have it centered. Uh, okay, so we are trying to find, trying to find it actually. Now we need to put it somewhere like this because we want we want a bit a bit of the texture actually showing. Uh, the little doorstep kind of thing. L. So first of all I'm just gonna select it and center it. That's, that's the thing I'm gonna do from top view. There it goes. Centered. Oh well. I'm checking for zero. Zero. Now what we need to do is change the original location of the pivot and we do that by going to this third tab 
effect pivot only, check that, and we put it down here. I mean, this is why, because I've already placed the model, that's like how it should be. See, it's realistic, and you can see it just has enough force that. Back to our frame, front. Okay, just uncheck pivot only and put the pivot back to Okay, so this is it. Uh, I'm just gonna check to see if everything is alright. And I do that by zooming up again and creating another box, which would be again. by two by two mm -hmm. seems like something went wrong oh my mouse that's what I'm doing two meters by two meters by two meters just a square no, I don't need to okay so I need Like fuck you. Sorry about that. I have to do like this. This has to. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna roll this back to zero. In this method, I will use the plugin, and for that, you need to throw it out house zero. You need to go to the hammer thingy, add more, click on more, and add TSG utility manager, and just export the scene. Press export. Ah, it can show up these errors, but you don't really have to worry about them, unless the, unless they're really bugged, and that would be a problem. Okay, this is the first method, and the second method would be to export this as. I use the Guru Bear, I think it's called. Uh, whoopsie, the wrong button. Desktop, tutorial, model, tutorial, house, zero one. You need to check the flip y z axis. Uh, you can optimize texture coordinates, but you don't really have to. I don't, personally. Uh, precision to six. Actually, I'm just going to check this. Sort of. Nah. I won't. And just choose export. This is a really simple model, so it will export really fast. At this point, we can close 3ds Max. And first, let's get the documents in 3ds Max. And export. Okay, this is our model. And as you can see, it has. Tutorial, other wall, other wall, other wall, roof, wood trim, wood door, and window, as we name them. And these are the, not the materials we need. Although we can just delete the rest. These are probably from some of the stuff that I already made. Okay, these five sort materials. Just gonna drag these here, here as well. Okay, I can close everything up. And now I'm gonna render the blade as well. I'm just gonna need this actually, and I'm gonna rename this to black. Of course, I'm gonna rename this as well. Just gonna open up the object to see, yeah, okay. And yeah, it's Guru Bear. Now we need to uh, run this blah blah blaze. Or the mesh converter. This is how I got the name. Yeah. Desktop. Tutorial. Model. This. And we need to convert it to SEO. I'm gonna use the TB folder. No. Actually, make a new folder. Bleh. 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 Not SEO, rename it to tutorial house 01 default. 
just leave it a default because it doesn't use default anyway. Okay, so let's just compare. Yeah, it has. I think it has more more vertices. Yeah, but we'll see how good both perform in game. At this point, uh, we can just. We don't need these materials. At this point, this video is over. I mean, the only thing we need to do left, ah, the only thing that's left, sort of from the speech, is go to where your Eclipse engine is installed, data, objects depot, the same folder I created a bit ago, and paste them here. And the Blair model as well. In the next section of the video I will explain how to set up materials that we will use, these five basically, that will link to these textures, and see you then.